Welcome back to Nine Overtime. All right, in all my years of covering high school football, and maybe Rick and Ed can attest to this a little bit more than I can. They've been around the game a little bit longer, we'll say. Uh, I've never seen a Wednesday night football game, and of course we're going to see more of that in District 1-6A. Yeah, Pedal Hills and America's two contenders in that district uh, doing what we just said, getting creative with the schedule. Neither team has played a game since week one, almost a three-week layoff for both of them. First quarter, K.J. Cooper going to find Jalen Partida on the wheel route. The Spartans would take a 9-6 lead. Ed, K.J. Cooper is really coming on strong this year. Yeah, K.J. Cooper is an undiscovered guy that has stepped up onto the map throwing laser beams out there for the Pebble Hill Spartans. Wouldn't be an America's Trailblazers highlight without this man, Aaron Dumas, running back committed to New Mexico would find the end zone right there to put the Trailblazers back on top and then uh, Rick this man doesn't get all enough love Dylan Kemp the sack right there led the nation in sacks a year ago you know what he's a monster he really he's talented he's one of those that he's always gonna be around the ball he's got a nose for the ball and he's really a, one of those players that makes a coach a good coach oh my god Becky look at that catch Evan Chisholm with the moss right there as America's wins, 36-17. Here is America's head coach, Patrick Melton, really excited his team was able to get a game in this week after sitting the last two weeks out. Weeks and weeks of preparation to, to just not get to play. You know, it's kind of an anticlimactic situation, and, and it's a letdown. So, you know, it, it, it gets monotonous for the kids to constantly be practicing with no culmination to that practice. So it was, it was awesome to get to play that game. There's a lot we had to work on from game one. So it felt really good just to get back on the field, just get back into the groove of things. Americans will play East Lake on Wednesday in a game rescheduled from week two, Andy. Yeah, thank you, Colin. It's